What's going on, guys? What's up? What's up? Um, got another word. I was supposed to do Isaiah 50, well, I believe 53. But uh, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, right now, we can definitely talk about how God hates evil. And um, it's, we want to be very distinctive between what's evil and what's good. You know, anything that's, that's good, is it deals with love. <clears throat> it deals with peace and joy. It doesn't have nothing. It's separated from strife. Anything that's um, of evil, it deals with strife, uh, contentions, uh, you know, backbiting, slandering, mockery, uh, you know, tail bearing, you know, uh, being a false witness, um, what else? Um, hate, being hate, hateful, uh, murder, warmonger, uh, idolatry, um, being rebellious. Um, things like that is just evil in God's eyes. And um, so I'm just going to read a few scriptures. But all in all, God, well, this next passage is about serve with gladness. And it's, it actually talks about, I'm going to just perfect, you know, like right here in verse verse 8 of chapter um, 90, Psalm 99. It says, Thou answerest them, O Lord, I God, thou wish, what's the God that forgave us them? Though thou took his vengeance of their inventions. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy hill. For the Lord our God is holy. <coughs> so it's even talking about people with inventions. So man, you know, man today, since the beginning of the time always had, you know, inventions they made that we sh they, they they shouldn't even be making. And our God um hates it. But um even for those type of people who did those type of things, he he'll even forgive those type of people. And that's how much grace and mercy and love that he has towards his, the people on earth. So, like, the, even the people who created evil inventions, if they turn around today, if they were to turn around today and repent and, like, have a change of heart and soul or mind, he would forgive those same exact people who did that. So that's how, you know, good, that's how loving God is towards, you know. It's, it's, it's like, where would we be without the Lord God Almighty? And if it wasn't for his goodness and kindness and mercy, we we'd be long gone, you know. <clears throat> we'd be still here. That's why we should give our life to him. You know, everything that's that's in his world is not it's not worth our soul, it's not worth our heart, worth energy, you know. You know this life is short. <clears throat> you know, some people don't even get to live for twenty years. Some people don't even get to live thirty years. And there's a lot of people who didn't even get to um, Fulfill purpose within those 30 years, you know. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna read uh, chapter 97, and it says this I'm gonna, I'm gonna only read about three scriptures, and it says, Um, it says, For thou, Lord, art high above all the earth, thou art exalted, <coughs> far above all gods. Ye that love the Lord hate evil, he preserveth the souls of, of his saints. He delivereth, he delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks to the remembrance of his holiness. So, he's saying, God's children hate evil, which we do. He wants us to hate. We, we, we need to hate what the Lord hates. Anything that he's against, we should be against. We don't want to be uh, in cahoots or in, in, in a twine with anything that he hates. Because if we, you know, praise anything that he hates, we're being enmity to God. We're, we're enemy of God. If we're anything that's of the world, he is against. Really, um, you know, things like, uh, you know, worshiping money, uh, worshiping, uh, you know, anything like secular music, like that that lifestyle that we should not be living. He's against that. <clears throat> he still wants those type of people to change. And be delivered because you see what's going on. You see what happens to rappers, gangster rappers. There's gonna be a grievous ending for them because you know they glorify murder, and um, they don't have no um, conviction in their heart about it. You know, it's you know, but God is God has a way to touch each and every man, every woman and man to um, change. <clears throat> but it says this right here: it says, for, for thou, for thou, Lord, high above all the earth." They are exalted far above all gods. So the Lord is to be exalted above all gods. And then, and then, and that, that, and they're false gods that, that no other God compares to, um, to, to the Lord. He's the only one that's alive and still living. 
these other guards, they're either a myth or they're gone. They're either gone. So um, God is going to recompense against these people who, you know, worship even false gods. And he's going to destroy them. And it says, uh, it says, uh, he delivers, he said, he preserves the souls of his saints. So he preserves your soul. You know, uh, the other people that, <clears throat> that have given their souls up to live, uh, to live for evil or to, to worship false gods, he's going to destroy their soul. And there's no escaping that. And, uh, he wants us to be a voice for those type of people because he's, he's giving them time. You see what's going on in the world with all these other places being destroyed. You know there's God's wrath as well. And um, Satan wants to destroy this country as well. But um, God said, well, he said whatever nation praises him, basically, whatever um, nation that praises God, he, he, he will preserve it. <coughs> and it says, uh, he that love the Lord hate evil, preserve the soul through his saints, and deliver them out of the uh, out of the hands of the wicked. So he would he would deliver his children out of the hands of the wicked, because it's people being used you know, by wicked powers, and uh, God will preserve us. So don't allow the enemy to put fear in you. You know, do these physical vessels of evil. You know, they're being used like remote control. Um, but that's all right. You got angels all around. Uh, it's a scripture that says, the Lord. Encampeth around those that fear him. So for every person that fears the Lord, he encampeth around those that fear the Lord. <clears throat> and uh, God wants us to be conduits, stewards, and uh, exhorters. He wants us to be the instruments. He wants us to be the voice for the for, for, my, for the brothers and sisters, for the murderers, the whole mongers, the sorcerers, because it, it's always time for the, it's always a way for them to turn around. But that's but but that's if they choose to. But that's if they choose to. You know, once that once that uh gate closes on you, it's only downhill from that moment. <clears throat> and it says, uh, light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the <clears throat> for the upright in heart. So light is sown for the righteous. And it will be a time of light. You know, just because you're going to have a dark moment, you know. Uh, God said, uh, morning, morning may last. You no know, weeping, weeping may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. So just know, joy will come. Keep your faith in God. And uh, and even if you're going through some type of sickness, uh, he said, uh, he said, good health will spring forth speedily. You know, you might go, might you might be going through some type of sickness or attack, but good health will spring forth speedily. You just get, keep your faith in God, keep pressing forward, and don't, you know, you you war against that sickness. That you know, that's from the enemy. You war against it because when the Holy Spirit is within you. He will quicken your body to be, to be healed, heal you over and over. You know his grace is sufficient. So even through infirmities, to your infirmities, to 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 your um slander, to your reviling, to when men, when men revile you, you, just know his grace is sufficient to sustain you. To, uh, you know when you when you fall into divers temptation, take it all in joy. He said, take it all in joy when you fall into when you fall into temptation. When you fall into temptation, take it in joy, because if you're not falling into any temptation. You see other people that that you know that's live not living a life of God, but you see nothing happening to them. Let that let that get it sink into your head. <clears throat> that means you're not of this world. That means you're not of this world, and that means you are you you God's child. So this world will try to destroy you, tear you apart. But you guess what? You're protected by God at all times. And the enemy, his time is short. He's defeated. He is defeated. He is he is a defeated foe. It's written. We overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Revelation 12, verse 11. And we love not our lives to the, to the days of our death. So don't allow Satan to try to tear you away from your blessing, to try to steal your faith, to t take away your joy, take away your peace. Keep your peace and, and, keep, and don't allow him to, you know, snatch the smile off your face. Your face. Always be able to um, find a be able to laugh and smile despite what's going on. <clears throat> it says, um, it says, uh, it says, and the gladness for the upright in heart. So he, he, he was sown. It said, light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Verse 12 says, rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks to the remembrance of his holiness. Rejoice in the Lord, and, his, and rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous. Give thanks to the remembrance. So give thanks to the, remember, uh, the remembrance of his holiness. We, we can all look back at the time when he showed us his goodness and his mercy 
and how he turned things around for us, for you and me, as many times. So, so if you if you if you feel like you're wavering away and um, lack of faith, try to remember the good things he did for you. You know, allow those to boost you back up, but don't dawn on negative things, but because uh, that's a that's a trick for the enemy. So don't allow um, the enemy to project negative imagine negative memories in your mind. You cast that back out to the pits of hell. <clears throat> um, yeah. So God made us the head, not the tail. Uh, he gave us authority to tremble over all serpents and scorpions and over all powers of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt us. Seriously. We we are we are above and not beneath. So walk in your dominion. <clears throat> and um last one. This is um oh yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. So that was about hating evil. Hate evil. God wants us to hate evil. He doesn't want us to love evil. Because this world is so so dysfunctional now, people laugh at people when people get beat up. People laugh when people want um get hurt, their feelings hurt or get embarrassed. And that's demonic at the end of the day. And uh, he wants us to have, you know, you're supposed to be caring. You're not supposed to laugh at a person getting beat up or chased by people up the street. And if you go in any neighborhood in the, um where it's poverty, say if a person getting singled out in the street, people will stand and watch and laugh at those type of things. You know, we're not supposed to be like that at all. So that's all I got for you guys today. And I'll come back with another word. You know, and, and let me end it off with this. Because those same people that, that laugh at those type of things, they laugh at people getting hurt or killed or something. Um, those same things, that same thing can come back around. So it's consequences. Don't allow Satan to use you so he can, um, because even though he'll use, so people that think they're getting away with, you know, you know, bad things, little do they know. That same thing is gonna to happen to them. The devil's gonna do the same thing to them. So he he he'll use a person, then dispose them. So he he use a person to throw him throw him out, throw him out like trash. So that's that's what happened. <coughs> so be wise, be of love. Don't hate evil. Be consecrated. Be separated from the world. Don't be of the world. And um, it's a sacrifice in itself. But guess what? The reward is is exceedingly great, and uh, is worth it. And uh, the things that you go through now can't compare to to God's uh, to God's uh, glorious end for you and me. That's all I can say. Um, and uh, before I end, I can give you some scriptures. It says right here, Psalm twenty-seven. It says, "The Lord is a, the Lord is the light of my salvation." And it says, "Whom shall I fear? Whom shall you fear? The Lord is the Lord is the strength. The Lord is the rock of your strength. Remember that." So even when your enemies and foes come upon you to eat up your, your flesh, they should stumble and fall. <clears throat> so that's all I got. God bless you guys. Um, stay safe. I love y'all. Peace.